Okay, so welcome back uh, to our lesson number 10. Let's continue with the examples. Let me share again our Excel file. Okay, so what we have done is um, our example number one. So again, just two criteria. Okay, value true, value false. Value true, value false. Okay, now let's see another example. Example number two. So as you can see here, again, there are, there's just one um, value that we're going to evaluate. So therefore, there's just one logic test. And see here, salary greater than or equals to 10,000, okay, we're going to have 15% bonus. We're talking about bonus here. Uh, and then if it is less than 10,000, our bonus would be 10% of the salary, okay, annual salary. Okay, so we have to use that. So let's just do again two um, possible solution. Okay, the only difference here is that we the result will be a computation. Unlike previous example, uh, the result is a text. Okay, equals if logical test is C3, is it greater than or equals to 10,000? So I will not put a comma sign or symbol there because the comma symbol uh, means something else in our functions or in writing our functions or formula. Okay, what will be the value if it is true? It's going to be 15%. You can write 15% here or you can write this one, but you have to use absolute value. Okay, so that it will not change when you copy it. Multiply to C3. So C3, you don't need an absolute value here. Okay or absolute address because when you copy that to the next cell, it should change C3 to C4. Okay, now if it is false, then we're just going to use H6, but press F4 key if you forget already this. Okay, if not, just manually type dollar sign. Okay, and then multiply by the same salary, C3. Close parenthesis, this is our formula press enter. So this is 9,600, true, true enough, it's less than 10,000, so that's what the result will be. Okay, now when you get the result, you can format this same like this. How do you do that? Uh, you can go for accounting. Okay, more number formats and then change it. Okay, or I'll give you an, another example. You can click here and format painter. Okay, and then you can brush everything like this. You can see the difference, right? Okay, so that's example number two. Let's go on with our example number three. Okay, so now years is greater than four and salary is greater than 9,000. You're going to have 50% bonus. Okay, so this is our criteria. If that's not, satisfy, not, not, not satisfied at all, then no bonus. Okay, so it, it's a combination. It is clearly written here, there's an AND. So it's not a nested IF, it's an AND. So you just need to use a logical operator for that one logic test. Okay, so let's equal sign IF logical test is you have to introduce now the and okay so because you're going to combine this you're going to test the years in the company is it greater than four okay and you have to test the salary if it is greater than nine thousand comma ah no no you have to close the parenthesis you started with the end operator you have to close it Okay, so this is one logical test. Okay, then uh, comma, now you are in the value if true. Value if true is the annual salary multiplied by 15%. Let, let me click I5 and then press F4 key. 
Okay, to put the absolute uh, addressing there. And then value if false. Value if false is no bonus. So that means you're just going to write no bonus. Let me change this letter N. Close double quotation. Okay, double quotation. Huh? Others are using one single quotation and another single quotation. No, that's different. You have to use double quotation. Okay, close parentheses. You can see that the color of the parentheses is black. You started with black here, so you're ending with black. You started the end here with, uh, let's see, it's a brown parentheses. Okay, so you have to close it here. Okay, press enter, and that's the answer. Copy. Okay, so what if, again, you can go here and press accounting and then change it to Omanerias if you want, or go to more number formats. But if you want the, the way I did it earlier, so just go here and format painter. So you're copying the format of this. Okay, after you click that, you can brush this to this one. Okay, so as simple as that. Uh, and then let's go to example number four. Okay, example number four attended at least one seminar and else no bonus. So here you have a basis for your bonus, which is 5%. Okay, now the question is, did he attend a seminar? Okay, so attended at least one seminar. So in this case, how do we solve this? It's just, again, one if. You're asking if this is seminar he attended and or this seminar he attended. So or, okay. So we can use or here. If one of the answer is the or is yes, then you will have a bonus. Okay, did we get it? Okay, I will explain it again. The question is attended at this one seminar. So in that logic, you have uh, two inputs. Okay, so the question is, did he attend it? So you just need at least one seminar. So he'll get the bonus. If not, then there's no bonus. Then we can apply that logic. Let me end this presentation and share to you again the PowerPoint wherein I explain to you the logical operator. Okay, I'm not going to show this. I'm going to go back here. Or, okay, this logical operator or. So, as we said, as long as there is a true statement in one of the condition, then the result will be true. And that's what our example is. He just needs at least one seminar that is yes. Okay, then he will get the bonus. If the both seminar is no, then that's the time there's no bonus. And it's true for this, um, what we call truth table, truth table. Okay, let me Stop sharing this and let me go back to our Excel file. Okay, so how do we write this? Equal sign, okay, if, open parenthesis, as I said, logical operator is S or, sorry, or C3 is equals to yes, which is a text. So therefore, there should be double quotation mark. The other test is, is D3 equals to yes. Okay. Now try to remember here that I use the OR operator. So that means I'm asking if C3 is yes or D3 is yes. Either of them. If both of them are yes, that's also true. Okay. So there's no uh, problem with that. So therefore... I'm asking C3, is it yes? If it, one of them is yes, then I'm going to have a value of true. If both of them are yes, still the statement will be true. Okay? So therefore, I'm going to use the value if true is 5%. Okay? I'm going to 
make it absolute referencing multiplied by the annual salary. And if not, if it is false, then no bonus. As simple as that. Okay. So let me press enter. So yes, because he attended both seminar, he will get a bonus. No bonus for this guy because, or this girl, because he didn't attend or she didn't attend any seminar. Same with this two. Okay. So that is, again, let me format paint for you. I'm going to take this. I'm going to brush it here. And I have the exact formatting from uh, here, the annual salad. Okay. So I will start from here, uh, from this point. Stop sharing. So I'll see you in the next video, the last part of this video. Or maybe not, maybe I will have another video. So it depends on how long will that be. Okay, so again, see you.